Patrick Fendaro here, co-founder at Vetted Biz. Today, we're gonna go through the third largest pizza chain in the world by total sales. So you might be thinking, is it Domino's? Is it Papa John's? The business is Little Caesars Pizza. So Little Caesars has locations throughout the US, Asia, Middle East, Canada, Latin America, as well as the Caribbean. Uh, we're gonna go through how much it costs to open up a Little Caesars in the United States and go through a bit about their performance, how they've been doing in the United States over the past few years, especially in light of the pandemic. Um, so they offer franchise units and you can also reserve an entire territory um, and develop multiple Le Little Caesars restaurants. Most Little Caesars franchisees that are going into the system right now, they do have aspirations to open up multiple locations, whether that means three, five, or 10 Little Caesars in a certain territory. Just with one location, you're not gonna be making that much money. And now on the numbers side, by the end of 2020, they had 4,211 restaurants across the United States. The majority of those were franchised with nearly 3,600 franchise locations and about 582 company owned stores. Company owned stores are continuing to increase. And part of that is their strategic uh, buyback program where they're buying back some of the franchises that weren't performing as well or weren't a good fit in the Little Caesars franchise system. So they're buying those back from, from some franchises that weren't a good cultural fit or some might be struggling financially and they're bringing them back and they're operating them as corporately owned and operated Little Caesar restaurants. Um, you see that a bit in franchising and it's a good strategy to make sure that the failure rate doesn't close and that the Little Caesars brand does not get burnt from landlords um, across, the, across the United States that see that brand as one that opens up in two years and closes, having the, the franchisor step in and actually own and operate that location allows the full lease term to, to go through. And the franchisor, Little Caesars in this case, can always sell that location to a, another franchisee uh, after the business stabilizes. Um, before investing in a Little Caesars franchise, you should know they did not disclose an item uh, 19 in their la in their latest franchise disclosure document in, in 2021. That is a little concerning for such a large brand. And I understand part of it might be because the numbers for COVID did not look uh, so hot. Although there are some pizza concepts like Domino's where same source sales have, have gone up like crazy. So I'd be curious to see the financials. Hopefully uh, they release an FDD in the next couple months. Uh, so we can see the 2022 FDD and, and hopefully they ha they disclose their, their financials in that. And so we'll definitely be reviewing that once it's released. Um, so, you know, it, is it a little strange a big company not disclosing their financials? Yes, most franchisors of their size will at least disclose the top line revenue, if not the full uh, income statement average and, and having the medians for the franchisees in their system, which for Little Caesars is 4,200 uh, franchisees. Um, now, how much does it cost to, to start one? The initial fee is $20,000. If you're a veteran, there's, there's a nice discount. Uh, royalties are the greater of 6% from sales or a hundred, hundred bucks a week. So not bad. They do have a pretty high advertising spend at 7%. Um, and that's not necessarily bad that as a lot of franchises, it might just be two or 3%. But as a franchisee that's opening up, especially in those first few years of operations, you're spending a lot more on marketing than two or 3% of your sales. So if you have a business that's doing um, $500,000, you, know, you, you should be spending quite a lot of money on marketing, 20,000 or even more, especially in those first few years. And there's some other miscellaneous fees that it's definitely worth to look into. And if you're evaluating a Little Caesars, ask the franchisee about the system support fee and the other charges that Little Caesars charges up front if you wanna open up a Little Caesars, as well as an ongoing. But it's definitely a concept to look at if you're if you're considering opening up a, a pizza franchise in the US and just given the the lack of financial transparency it makes it all that much more important to talk to at least five little caesars franchisees and try to talk to some of those franchisees that sold their location back to the corporate or maybe the corporate just took it over and they, they, they didn't get any money for their location. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's other franchises you'd like us to review, just shoot me an email at patrick at vettedbiz.com. Thank you.